he was funny and smart and God, he was he was gorgeous. For Rebecca O'Berry, Skylar Steak was the one. His blue eyes were you just you just kind of sunk into him. The person she was getting set to build her future with, planning for a wedding on their first date anniversary in April. We were gonna have kids and we were gonna have an apartment and we we're gonna have everything. But that future changed Sunday evening. I'm numb. There's I mean I have nothing to when the two of them were hit by a car along this stretch of Midlothian Turnpike between Buford and Ruthers Roads, walking back from the store with dinner to their home just across the street. Well, Barry says they were just about at the median. And then all I saw was her headlights and I screamed his name and then it happened just like that. O'Berry says Steak was closer to the car and knocked her out of the way. Wednesday, she still walked with a limp and you could see the swelling in her left leg. He died protecting her. He always put himself in front of the vehicle so she wouldn't get hurt. Now, according to court documents, police say the driver left the scene of the crash and continued on down Midlothian Turnpike and came to this gas station about a quarter mile away to use the restroom before going back to the crash scene and telling the police that she knew that she hit something but wasn't sure what. The driver has been identified as Vivian Whiting Bailey, and the court documents say police detected the smell of alcohol, gave her several field sobriety tests, and she blew it 0 0.075 on a preliminary breathalyzer test. The legal limit is 0 0.08. It adds Whiting Bailey says she had left work at 5.30, had been drinking Hennessy, and had last had a drink at 6.15, later saying she had two shots. The crash happened around 7.45. Whiting Bailey was arrested and charged with a misdemeanor DUI and felony hit and run. As for what's happened to Whiting Bailey since the crash happened, she was arraigned in Chesterfield District Court on Monday morning and ordered held without bond and has an ex-court appearance scheduled for next month.